Hello everyone and welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing where it is the dawn of a new era. It has been really hard to get to this point you guys. We have been doing a lot of races behind the scenes. TJ has been so busy training all of our horses but my friends the time has finally come. It is finally time for our wonderful Cafe Princess to retire from her place in the spotlight and pass on the most famous fast horse title to none other than Abstract Adventure right here. Look at him! He is so cool! I really love how you can actually take your horses out for little quick rides like this. This is just like the best thing ever. Oh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and quit the quick ride though, because I know you guys are really here to see how the foals are doing. But seriously, it, it, it's happened now, you guys! Abstract has now officially become stronger faster and more capable of winning than our girl Cathay Princess. She is in here with a speed 124, sprint energy 120, and acceleration 120, and all of those are maxed out. So she can't get any faster. She is just maxed out. She's already won us almost 3 million gold. She is like a world famous horse in my opinion because she has taken first place 71 times. Come on, like our foundation has been built on Rash Dreamer and Cafe Princess. No one can convince me any differently and we will keep these two girls for forever if we can. Oh my gosh, but you guys, like she's all maxed out. She's ready to relax. She's ready to kind of like wind down, take some deep breaths, not need to worry too much because Abstract Adventure, who's already up to 15 first place races, and he is also at half a million gold that he has earned us thus far, well, he's ready to rise. He actually has over, like, what is that? Let me, okay, 12 more levels that he can go up. So he has got so much more skill that he can gain, and he has just formally passed our wonderful cafe princess in speed, sprint energy, and acceleration. So he's he's like beating her there. Oh my gosh, his grand dam. Oh, this is so amazing. So Meadow Darling was his mother and cafe princess was his grandmother. Oh, do you guys remember fabulous figment fragment? That was a fantastic stallion we found on the stud farms. Uh, erratic Edge, an extraordinary edge, led to abstract adventure. Oh my gosh, he is really fantastic. And hopefully very soon, we will actually be welcoming in some of his foals who will happen to have that beautiful peacock coloring. Uh, and it looks like it's time to go ahead and have the foals be born. Before we can figure out what to do with them though, we need to make a little bit of room in the stables. So I think it's actually time to go ahead and say goodbye to Meadow Darling and probably, hmm, going down the line here, Meadow Darling and Heavenly Asteroid, I think, will be the two who we release today. That's really difficult to decide. Autumn's Fable is also actually, actually Meadow Darling and Autumn's Fable, these two can probably pop out because we have Autumn Fable's sister, Extra Eclair, and uh, you know what, let's decide after we see the foals. Because a big part of trying to make these decisions is actually picking between the pedigree and the lineage and the hidden genetics that our horses might be pulling along in their chromosomes and hiding away in their DNA. So I don't want to just like yeet a horse out the stable without thinking carefully if that's going to throw the efforts we're putting into their genetics out the window too. But for now, let's go ahead and see what our supposed albino horse Begonia Bagel actually has for her first foal. Oh, hello, little one! Oh, aren't you adorable? It's a little filly, you guys. So an adorable little filly. She is unfortunately just at five star bad blush. Oh my gosh. You know what? We'll name her not crocodile's blush or logical blush. How about detail detail? Oh my gosh. No, I want to name her like balloon. Wait, no, forever blush maybe? Forever Blush sounds adorable. I wanted to keep the blush part of her name. I just wanted something different. I can't believe we got like dull and waste when I was trying to pick a new like first word. Poor thing. Well, we'll go ahead and we have Forever Blush in here. We're gonna keep her for a little bit. Uh, we'll see what she grows up into. I don't think we'll keep her for forever, but she does have really amazing patterns. And meanwhile, let's see what Extra Eclair actually has. 
Come on, peacock coloring. Oh, dang it. All right, so we didn't end up with peacock coloring. We did end up with a colt who happens to be at level six, but we're gonna go ahead and we are going to skip to stallion on him because more princess. <laughs> Impressive earthquake. Hmm. Pirate Berry? Oh, that's such a cool name. I want to save that for the future. Remedy Armies, Mysteries Missile, Jewels Banter, Classic Maker, Cold Motto, Fever Bingo, Foggy Falcon. Foggy Falcon sounds cool. All right, we're going to skip to Stallion on him and find him a wonderful new home. Oh, oh dang. Is it Sprint Energy that we need or Acceleration that we need? We have a breeding challenge right now, actually. Did we just accomplish it? Yes, we just accomplished it. Looks like Stables Monthly wants to do a story on our breeding methods, quite an honor. We did it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We have the best horses. I'm so happy with how the visit went. The photos are gonna look great. I can't wait to grab a copy. The tips from that consultant we had a while back worked. I can't believe how uh, lustrous the coats came out. Yes, our horses are looking strong and healthy for their moment in the spotlight. Uh, we also did breed a grade six or higher horse and we need to sell a horse with a speed stat of 126 and above. Ugh, that's actually gonna be really hard. Dang it, okay, we'll have to check on that. Uh, let's see, and then train a horse to level 25 speed, train a horse to level 25 acceleration. Are you getting excited? We've got a race against uh, Calthrope at Billencourt next. Time to train up. Okay, we're actually getting close to level 13, so we probably need to train up. Did I train past the spot that he was gonna count? Level 25 speed, level 25 acceleration. Oh, thank goodness I didn't, I didn't train up past it. Oh, phew. I was gonna be so frustrated if I trained ourselves past like what we needed to have. Um, what is the like fussy buyer a speed stat of 126 or above dude if that's what i think it is hang on a second here like 126 speed cafe princess isn't even level 126 are you kidding me somebody wants me to train them up a horse that is like just completely a foggy falcon that's gonna have to be you my dear and that means we're gonna have to race Foggy Falcon, the Falcon, in order to beat that quest so that we can carry on and hit level 13. Oh, that's gonna make things so tricky. Gosh darn it. All right, well, let's make a little bit of extra room. I think Autumn Fable, Surreal Stars, Heavenly Asteroid, Metaphor Frankincense was your father. Extra Eclair, Extraordinary Edge was your father. Hmm. Metaphor of Frankincense was your grandfather. Hmm. We really didn't get the full I was hoping for there. And Begonia needs... Okay, I think we're going to need to have Meadow Darling go ahead and find a new home. I'm going to miss her a lot, but it it is... Well, actually, Meadow Darling the mare. Uh, uh, training her up will take a little while, too. Ah! Ah, decisions, decisions, fabulous fragments of black horse. You guys have been telling me don't, don't lose those. All right, that's it. I think we'll have to go with Surreal Stars. Surreal Stars, you're gonna, we're gonna retire Surreal Stars, even though she's one of our peacock colors. Oh gosh, that's hard. Because we need more room for the new foals. And speaking of the new foals, let's go ahead, come on in. And we're gonna try to breed. Let's see. Let's go with Autumn's Fable now, because it's autumn time. I'm hoping for good luck with that. Let's see, we have Robotic. Ooh, there's actually a lot of really nice spots in Nail Nick's background. Medium Blackbird. These guys are like, well, not terribly low there, actually. Okay, that might actually work. Then there's Dragon's Deputy. He's got some spots, but not a lot in his background. And Estranged Emperor. Mm, that's not really a spotty background. And then, of course, we are trying to work with, you know, Abstract Adventure. But he does not have, like, a spotty background at all. So I think we might have some good luck with Nail Neck here. It's unusual to have a level 6 stallion available that early on, too. All right. Nice! Oh, and that might actually, like, drop down soon enough that we might get to see Autumn Fables full before it's time to go. Meanwhile, Forever Blush... 
Let's go ahead and skip to Mare. You adorable you. She's very pretty. Very pretty indeed, but not quite what we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and have her find a new home. There we go. And then it's time to train our horses while we pass a little bit of time waiting until just the right moment to be able to see the newest foal arrive. Uh, I guess I could set another foal up in the foal stalls for breeding. Might as well. Oh, I can have three foal stalls, what? Yes, build that the thing, oh my gosh. Upgrade it, I could have three foals at once? How have I not noticed this before? We must have just unlocked that. Yes, we are absolutely expanding the full stalls, like, very rapidly. All right, tier four. See, this is nothing. This used to, like, take us forever to do, and now we have so much money in building material. That's just what comes with, you know, being able to make the big bucks, darling. Oh, speaking of the big bucks, isn't TJ's aunt, like, getting into trouble somehow? Wasn't that the latest, like, gossip around the stable that, like, his aunt was trying to suss up? some information about the races that was kind of like on the shady side like a little potentially illegal side i'm a little concerned you guys all right whoop, and we're out of safety equipment that's okay now i i will pay for more safety equipment <laughs> that seems like something you should just obviously do and now we have two more empty full stalls so we can breed lots of chances at these peacock horses maybe it's a really good thing i didn't actually have extra eclair disappear yet. Um, we'll try breeding her with nail neck, because that's actually, you know what? That'll be cool to see two sisters with the same horse. We'll see what results they, their genetics will turn out. That's actually really exciting to think about. And then we have Meadow Darling. And if we mix her an abstract adventure, who do we want to mix next? Cafe Princess? No, no, Begonia Bagel? You know, I kind of love bringing in some other genetics from these other pedigrees that are kind of sprinkled in some of these horses' family trees. Because it's nice to bring in something different. It's important to keep your genetics kind of diverse. So let's try Begonia Bagel and Medium Blackbird. It's not going to be a really high tier horse, but the foal that results might be really interesting because I think, I don't, I don't think she's properly albino because she has that like mark on her face. But I'm really curious about that. All right, look at all the babies we have on the way, you guys. Oh heck, I am so tickled. This is so exciting to have our full stalls really expanded. I am, I'm very thrilled. All right, let's go see TJ because we need to train up, of all the horses, we actually need to train up Foggy Falcon, which means buy in some of the basic grain. Uh, is it speed we need up? Let's double check so we, we don't need to train everything on him after all. Yeah, a speed stat of 126 or above. We might have to train everything on Foggy Falcon because otherwise I don't think he can win many races. <laughs> Oops, that's abstract. His brother or like his son, Foggy Falcon, looks kind of similar to him. All right, so we mostly want to get speed up on him. Jeez Louise, we started at over a million gold today. And between, like, the cost of breeding our horses and upgrading the full stables, we're burning through that so fast, you guys! Like, what the heck? Ah! Oh my gosh! Okay, and yes, we are going to need to race Foggy Falcon at least a couple times in order to be able to go ahead and get him above 125 or 126. That is just rude to this poor little guy. And also to my bank, like my checkbook, no one's gonna pay me like enough for all of that. This is just for fame so that we can go up on our, our ranking higher. <sighs> all right, well, what can I race Foggy Falcon in? He's gonna be a little rookie. All right, where is he? There you are, buddy. Here, we'll race him. He's already capped. Let's see, so what you do when you just need to train a horse up real fast is you just toss them in some of the lower races. When they do a good job, they gain experience. 
because that was a lower race that didn't give us as much experience. But that'll be what I'm busy doing with Foggy Falcon so that we can try to train him up and surpass that goal. But otherwise, we're just waiting for a whole bunch of amazing foals to be born, you guys. I'm so excited that we have three foal souls now. And we'll get to see what happens when we actually have two sisters have some foals side by side. Oh, this is more like it. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our lovely, lovely peacock horses. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.